It is vast, mysterious, icy, and dark. Although we have only recently started to investigate it, it has crucial hints about the beginning of our solar system. This icy region, known as the Kuiper Belt, is home to trillions of objects that are left over from the formation of the solar system itself. In this video, we're going to talk about the Kuiper Belt and all of the mysteries around it. There is a region of space beyond the gas giant Neptune that is home to icy objects. Astronomer Kenneth Edgeworth discovered the existence of comets beyond Neptune in 1943. Almost a decade later, in 1951, astronomer Gerald Kuiper postulated the possibility of an outer solar system belt of frozen objects. It wasn't until 1992 the astronomers Dave Jewett and Jane Liu found the Kuiper belt, despite its enormous size. The two had been doggedly searching the stars in search of faint objects beyond Neptune since 1987. The first thing they saw was called Smiley, but it was eventually identified as 1992 QB1. Astronomers have since found several intriguing Kuiper Belt objects and possible planets in the area. As new planets and objects are discovered by NASA's New Horizons missions, scientists are learning more about these rare fragments of the solar system. Much of the gas, dust, and rocks gathered together during the formation of the solar system to create the sun and planets. The majority of the leftover debris was then carried by the planets into the sun or outside the solar system. However, as they slowly circled the sun, objects near the periphery of the solar system were far enough away to avoid being pulled in by the gravitational pull of the much larger planets like Jupiter. The Kuiper Belt and the Oort Cloud, which are further out and spherical, are home to the solar system's oldest materials and can shed light on how the solar system was formed. The Oort Cloud is thought to contain between 0.1 and 2 trillion ice bodies in solar orbit. Giant molecular clouds, nearby stars, or tidal interactions with the Milky Way's disk might occasionally disrupt the orbits of some of these bodies in the Oort Cloud, leading the object to fall into the inner solar system as a so-called long-period comet. These comets have extraordinarily huge eccentric orbits that take thousands of years to complete a full round around the Sun. They have only been spotted in the inner solar system once in recorded history. Because Kuiper Belt objects are so far apart, measuring their size is challenging. A Kuiper Belt's object's projected diameter is determined by assumptions about how reflective the object's surface is. The Spitzer Space Telescope's infrared scans have revealed the size of the majority of the biggest Kuiper Belt objects. The Kuiper Belt may have been formed closer to the Sun, close to where Neptune currently orbits, which is one of the hypothesized models of the solar system's creation. This depiction depicted the planets as dancing intricately, with Neptune and Uranus switching roles and traveling away from the Sun. Many Kuiper Belt objects have been dragged by the planet's gravitational pull as they've migrated further from the Sun, shepherding the small objects forward as the ice giants migrated. As a result, a large number of Kuiper Belt objects were transferred from the region where they originated to the solar system's colder region. Between 42 and 48 times further from the Sun than Earth, the Kuiper Belt's densest region can be found. Although certain objects occasionally have their trajectories significantly adjusted when they drift too close to Neptune, most objects in this region have stable orbits. The belt contains trillions of smaller objects, many of which are short period comets, as well as thousands of objects with a diameter of more than 62 miles. The area is also home to several dwarf planets, which are circular bodies that are too massive to be categorized as asteroids, but too small to be considered planets. Although Pluto was the first actual Kuiper Belt object to be observed, until now, Kuiper Belt objects were found. Scientists at the time did not acknowledge it as such. Astronomers quickly realized that the area beyond Neptune was full of frozen boulders and tiny worlds after Jewett and Liu discovered the Kuiper Belt. A Kuiper Belt object named Sedna, measuring three-fourths the size of Pluto, was found in 2004. It is so far from the Sun that one orbit takes around 10,500 years to complete. Sedna has an eccentric orbit around the Sun that varies in size from 8 to 84 billion miles, and it is around 1,100 miles broad. Mike Brown, an astronomer at the California Institute of Technology who found this item as well as numerous other Kuiper Belt objects, stated that the Sun seems to be so tiny from the distance that you could fully block it out with the head of a pin. Astronomers found Eris, a Kuiper Belt object that is somewhat smaller than Pluto, in July 2005. Nearly a hundred times further away from the Sun than Earth, Eris orbits the Sun once every 580 years. Some scientists were made aware of the difficulty of classifying Pluto as a full-scale planet as a result of its discovery. A planet must be big enough with the Kuiper Belt surrounding them. Pluto and Eris had failed to do so. Pluto, Eris, and Ceres, the biggest asteroid, were consequently reclassified by the IAU as minor planets in 2006. 
In the Kuiper Belt, the dwarf planets Huame and Mikmik were also found in 2008. Now, astronomers are questioning where Huame still qualifies as a dwarf planet. Scientists discovered the object is more elongated than circular in 2017 when it passed between Earth and a bright star. One of the characteristics of a dwarf planet is roundness. A day on Huame only lasts roughly four hours since its quick rotation may be the cause of its elongated shape. A hypothetical planet, called Planet 9, is supposed to orbit the Sun at a distance that is roughly 20 times further from it than Neptune's orbit and 600 times distant than Earth's. At its closest, Neptune's orbit is 2.7 billion miles from the Sun. Planet 9 hasn't actually been sighted by scientists. By observing gravitational effects on other Kuiper Belt objects, its existence was deduced. In a 2016 report that was published in the Astronomical Journal, researchers Mike Brown and Konstantin Batijan from the California Institute of Technology in Pasadena revealed the proof for Planet 9. After speculating on the possibility of Planet 9, a small dwarf planet beyond Pluto in 2014, the duo has spent the following six years working on the deepest study of dim objects in the solar system. Shepard and Trujillo have discovered 62 far-off objects thus far, which accounts for nearly 80% of all those at the system's boundary. The two most distant KBO yet reported, 2018 VG18, also known as Far Out, and the dwarf planet 2015 TG387, often known as the Goblin, were both discovered last year. Shepard made an unauthorized announcement on the discovery of the Far Far Out object in February of 2019. These far objects are like breadcrumbs pointing us to Planet X. The more of them we can find, the better we can comprehend the outer solar system and the potential planet that we suspect is controlling their orbits. A revelation that would completely change our understanding of the evolution of the solar system. When NASA's Pioneer 10 spacecraft entered the region beyond Neptune's orbit in 1983, it became the first spacecraft to enter the Kuiper Belt. Only Pluto has been found at that time. Therefore, no other frozen planets were accessible to the spacecraft. The Kuiper Belt objects are located between 30 and 55 AU from the Sun. This estimates the Kuiper Belt distance from the Sun at a minimum of roughly 2.8 billion miles, and as far away as 5.1 billion miles. The Kuiper's Belt total mass is estimated to be only approximately 1-2% of that of Earth. Other estimates place the overall mass at around 10% of Earth's mass. Scientists were unable to determine the exact location of the Kuiper Belt, but it began to be validated in the 1990s when divert observations of space objects confirmed Kuiper's mathematical discoveries. Thousands of artifacts have been discovered. The finding of these additional space objects prompted the decision to categorize Pluto. Pluto and the other recently found space objects are now referred to as Kuiper Belt objects. Other Kuiper Belt objects are usually the size of Pluto's moon Charon or less. Eris, one of the Kuiper Belt objects, is nearly as massive as Pluto. The Kuiper Belt is now recognized as an essential component of our solar system's outer atmosphere. What are your thoughts on the Kuiper Belt? If you're interested in knowing more about Planet 9 and other types of planets or stars, take a look at the videos that are shown right here. And if you have any topics that you want us to cover, let us know in the comment section below. We hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did like the video, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon to stay notified. And we'll see you in a new video. Take care.